Yo, not nice. Oh, yeah, this today. Yeah, man, this is American every day. What? Work. Where we're at, Congo. I got your feet. I never had night. Welcome back to my channel. It's Ebony Lala here, and I'm here with a flawless foundation routine. If you want to see how I got this look, please keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe to that like button. Subscribe to that like button? Yeah, you do that. Subscribe down below. This is the finished look. And if you like this look, please keep on watching and let's get right into the video. My mirror is over here, so yeah. So if you see me looking over here, that's why. Um, I did my eyebrows already because honestly, you guys don't know what I'm dealing with. My eyebrows are on a mod thing right now. I'm not trying to get them done because I went to another eyebrow lady and they just didn't go the way I wanted to. That's why I stick with my one lady. Don't you guys hate when that happens? It's so annoying. Like, now I have to wait for it to grow out and make sure they're nice and whatever, whatever. So anyways, let's get started. I'm using Smashbox Photo Finish. This shit works so nice. It's like kind of moisturizing. I like it. I think it works less. Just clean up my eyes. Mmm. Over your smile lines. Everywhere. I'm gonna need a little bit more. I have a big face. Ooh, and I um I'm about to buy this foundation. It's the NARS uh, natural radiant foundation. It's new. It's new. It's 60 bucks. I have the sample from Sephora and I'm loving it. I wore it a few times and like the application is just absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna buy it. It's sixty dollars, but I still have beer in my little sample, so I'm gonna use that out first, and then I'm gonna get it. And like, it has like a full coverage look, and like I like how it finishes once um, you've gone out and what like everything like that. Like it looks still really nice. And I like the coverage on it. Wow. I'm obsessed with this. Like, I think it works so beautifully. Like, real shit. Real talk. I just feel like a new gal. Like, and you don't need that much. And it's really, like, lightweight. Like, you don't feel like you're wearing too much. That's why I love it. But, like, I, only, I literally only use a little bit because, like, this foundation, I feel like it's actually really buildable. So you don't have to use, like, so much. Wow. Girl, this is the one. I love it. This is so nice. This foundation is so nice. Honestly, get it. It's And I got it in the color Caledonia. Caledonia. That's my color, Caledonia. Yo. The lady nice me with the sample though. I'm about to buy it, but she really nice me with the sample. I've used this, I used it about three times already, and I still have more. Like, I could do a lot of applications with it. So that's why, like, I'm sure, like, if I actually do get the bottle, like, it's gonna last me a long time. So that is a plus. This right here, this Mac concealer is so good I love it I've been using it since I started makeup and I have not gone back I find it better than the LA girl pro like it's really easy to move around um, when you set it it sets perfectly this is in the color NC 50 um, and it just goes perfect I absolutely love it the only thing I use for my LA girl pro concealer now is my eyebrows um, because I feel like it, it stays in one place but other than that, I'm going to use that. I need to wet my beauty blender, so I'll be back. So I have my wet beauty blender now. Yeah, and I'm going to just put some of the um, MAC concealer on. I just put like two little dots underneath my eyes. And then I use my flat brush to spread it out. Yeah. 
and like the access that I have on there. I right here for my cupid bow and my chin. And then I'll do my little line for my contour. I don't usually do forehead or anything. I don't know. It's just not my thing. I don't think it looks proper on me. Now I'm just going to blend it out. Like, look at how easy it's blending out. Absolutely love it. It's, it's bright, but I feel like my banana powder brightens up my, um, brightens up my, uh, what's it called? My highlight anyway, so I don't have to go super light on my, um, concealer. I used to use, uh, toffee and I felt like that was way too light. Like, I like the more, uh, natural look. So next, I'm going to use the Ben Nye Banana Powder. That stuff is friggin' life. Honestly, I don't have the package. So, I'm just, I'm just letting you guys know that's what I'm using. <laughs> you guys will laugh at me if you see what it's in right now. You will laugh at me. That's why I don't use like too much of a like light concealer because it's gonna brighten me up anyways. And I don't want to look too like pasty and stuff. Like that's not that's not me. That ain't me though. That ain't me though. And honestly, I just put a little bit, even though I haven't, um, I mean, though I haven't concealed up here, I still put the powder up here because obviously it's going to brighten it a little bit and it'll give me that, uh, look that I did conceal. <laughs> so now I just wait a little bit and this is one of the times I be doing my eyelashes and stuff, but let me just do a quick contour quick. If I do the contour, that means a lot. This is just, this is just from the beauty supply store. It's cheap. It's like four ninety nine, and I think it works great. And what color is this? I don't even know what color this is. I always use it. It's in the color caramel. It's bomb. I love it. If you go to the hair store and try stuff out, they actually have some pretty good stuff. Um, uh, some of the stuff I use, like I use that. And I use the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Uh, that's about it. But like, other people have like some really good stuff from there. And I've seen them wear it, but like I just don't have it. But, you know, to each their own. Try the, try makeup. When you're trying makeup, try anything. Because you know what? You never know what may work for you. So, I'm baked enough. I'm going to use my MAC Studio Fix Powder. I've had this for, I don't even know how long. Forever. And I'm just going to brush my thing away with this. And this is also setting my whole face, you know? So like, that's why I use it to brush away everything. Setting my face, but also doing that. And then I'm a you kiss. I just use that to set my contour a little bit. Just a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. And then my elf brush. Walmart. Walmart, Walmart, Walmart. Walmart has some blessed stuff, you know. I just use a little bit. Dab, dab. With my eye bomb brush. I just do a little bit. To give me like some little like oh she happy or whatever. I always think blush makes people look so happy. Like mm, thank you, thank you. For my favorite highlight of all time, drum roll please. Okay, I cannot drum, <laughs> but Becca Topaz, you already know this shit booming. 
So one of my friends actually keeps telling me to try these lashes from the hair store. They're $4.99. Um, and they're 3D silk lashes. They're the Demi G Premium Lash. I'm going to try it. Honestly, I had to resize and stuff because my eyes are small. So yeah, with small eyes, I feel like the certain lashes I can't wear just for my face personally and thanks for watching i hope you guys like this video little tutorial see ya